Hello guys, welcome to SoundHealthSolution.com and in today's video I'll be talking about shock and I'm not talking about the one you get after touching an electrical wire but a serious acute medical condition that's related to sudden fall in blood pressure and normal circulatory system. This is me, Baron Cross, and in the next 4 minutes I'm going to talk about different types of shock and its causes. But before we get to the main video, do like and subscribe to our channel to never miss any interesting videos. So let us begin. What is shock? Shock is defined as the widespread hypoperfusion of the tissues due to a reduction of the blood volume or cardiac output. I know it's quite complex to understand, so let me paint a picture for you guys. We have all heard about ischemia where there's lack of blood flow to a specific area of tissue like in the heart during a heart attack. The coronary artery in the heart gets blocked and the localized tissue of the heart doesn't get enough blood and oxygen, resulting in the damage and heart attack. Well guys, shock is just like ischemia but on a global scale. Meaning, it's a whole body circulatory failure, where blood flow to the tissue is halted, leading to several complications like hypotension, multi-organ failure, and even death. Hence, shock is a medical emergency and requires immediate medical help. Now that you know what shock is, let's move on to know about its classifications. Cardiogenic shock Failure to pump blood out of the heart due to intrinsic damage of the heart muscles or by extrinsic pressure or by the obstruction in the blood flow results in cardiogenic shock. Causes of cardiogenic shock include myocardial infraction, rupture of the heart, arrhythmias, massive pulmonary embolism, which means it's an obstruction in the outflow from the heart during heart failure which leads to shock. Hypovolemic shock or cold shock occurs due to inadequate blood or plasma volume resulting in decreased cardiac output, which in turn causes hypoperfusion of the tissues. Causes of hypovolemic shock include hemorrhage, diarrhea, vomiting, trauma, and severe burn. Next up we have septic shock. Septic shock is the result of infection or other causes of systemic inflammatory response that produces widespread endothelial damage resulting in organ failure. Causes of the septic shock are an overwhelming bacterial infection due to gram-negative septicemia or in few cases gram-positive septicemia or fungal infections which are very rare. Neurogenic shock it is caused by spinal cord injury or anesthetic accident producing disruption of the brainstem and neurogenic vasomotor control. Anaphylactic shock. It is mediated by type 1 hypersensitivity reaction in response to an allergen causing inappropriate vasodilation. Well guys, after knowing all of this, there's still one question that's still bothering me. How do you suffer from shock? Well. Shock can be caused by any condition that reduces blood flow, including heart problems such as heart attack or heart failure, low blood volume as with heavy bleeding or dehydration, changes in blood vessels as with infection or severe allergic reactions, certain medicines that significantly reduce heart function or blood pressure. Bottom line is guys, shock is a serious life threatening condition and it requires immediate medical treatment. To know more about its symptoms and treatment measures, follow the link in the description below. Until next time, stay away from electrical wires.